Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Welcome to the Gamey Daddy channel. Today I'm going to explain to new beginners, uh, pe pretty much newcomers to the division, what overcharge is. Overcharge is a term that was added to the Division 2's skill paradigm uh, as a descriptive factor of your skills actually becoming more powerful than you can attain even when you build your skills to be at their max efficiency. Overcharge is an extra bonus that will in some case cost you maybe an action or maybe having to run specific uh, you know, combinations or having somebody on your team to trigger overcharge of your skills or their skills that can also affect and improve your skill damage. So it's pretty much your skills on steroids. Now it doesn't stay as a, in perpetual states, except maybe you and your groups can coordinate it very well. Um, but it's something that is a benefit for everybody. So as a new player, let's first explain uh, skill tiers because that's how you're going to pretty much understand uh, what this even means. So every skill has its maximum efficiency based on tiers, and this is based on you know the amount of skill tiers that you run on your build. So my mask has its core attribute as a skill tier. So this is telling me that my skills are going to be dealing this level of efficiency if they're dealing damage or healing or support or whatever it is this is the level of um, you know efficiency that they'll be dealing at skill tier one now good example is let's say the drone here this drone at skill tier one will have 20 percent uh, damage and 70 percent health so there is a base damage if i wasn't running any of the skill tiers at all there will be a base damage that this skill does uh, compared to say when I'm running skill tier one and this is you know kind of something that you can measure by coming to the shooting range um, you know maybe doning a build that is an all weapon or what we call all red build a build like this um, let me see if I can find one here for you guys I only run skill builds a lot all right he all right let's do this one um, all right cool so Everything here is red at this point, okay? So once I activate my drone, uh, my striker drone, look at the amount of damage I do to the enemies that are uh, pretty much in front of me. The damage numbers will be mostly the same. So if I activate, hit that guy, I'm doing around 16,800 damage. That's what I'm doing, okay? Now, a skill tier one, if I switch uh, items to a yellow piece, um, and also having 10% extra skill damage, by the way, let's make sure we factor that in. That number is going to increase. Look at the number. It is now 22,058 rather than the 16,000 that I had just a second ago. So as my skill tiers begin to go up from skill tier one to skill tier two, give me a second. Let me look at that. Oh, let's use another skill. As it starts to go from skill tier one all the way, I start getting all these increases in my bonuses. And eventually that number that right now at skill tier one is at 28,000. By the time I say maybe move to skill tier six, all of my uh, my damage will be most likely will like will most likely a double by a huge percentage. OK, so let's switch back to that build that I had on, which had six skill tiers where six of the items that I was wearing were yeah, all skill based question. items that will grant me everything, uh, you know, up to that point. So now let's do damage again on these uh, targets and then now look at the numbers. We're talking 85,000. We're talking, uh, you know, 85,000 rather than the 20 something thousand that you saw at, this, at the different skill tiers. So I hope that makes sense. Good. I'm glad you said it makes sense. Now, with that, I have other items on my build that will also improve uh, my damage as well. I have to also consider I have glass cannon as well. So let's make sure we pay attention to that. And I have skill damage rolled on other pieces. But still, skill tiers do improve that build by specific percentages, while the other uh, aspects on my build also do so. So let's look at it here now. So at skill tier one, I was doing about you know 20% damage. And then by skill tier six, my damage had already gone on to 120%, and even my health from 70% to 420%. Overcharge is when I actually gain 175% striker damage and I still gain and maintain the same health. So every different skill has its overcharge numbers and they vary, uh, you know, depending on how the developers have decided to uh, 
to design them or whatever it is. In the case of the turret, the turret has 20% damage and 70% health. And by the time you reach overcharge, you're at 175% damage and 560 health. Now, how can you activate overcharge on your builds? Good question. Overcharge is activated by specific uh, gear in the game. And two of them that I will tell you in this video are basically, I think these are the only two pretty much. I, I don't know if there's any other one. You can do so by attaining the Black Tusk Data Gloves, which can grant you and your team overcharge, or you can do so by using the Acosta Go Backpack. These have two talent. They have their own specific talents that allow for overcharge. This one, uh, Acosta Backpack says one in hand. Throwing a grenade refunds it and grants one skill tier for 15 seconds. And then it grants you overcharge if you're already at skill tier six. So if you have skill tier five and you throw a grenade, you're going to get skill tier six. If you have skill tier six, you toss a grenade, you're going to be at overcharge for your build. Okay, I hope that makes sense. In the case of BTSU gloves, you have to destroy a hive. So detonating a hive refreshes your skill cooldowns and grants overcharge for 15 seconds. If at skill tier six, the effect also applies to all allies. Allies receiving this effect are unable to benefit from it again for 120 seconds. So it has a cooldown. Acosta on its own doesn't have a cooldown. And so let's test out the Acosta and then that way you can see how the damage numbers work as well. Also keep in mind as well that I'm removing 10% skill damage. Um, I'm actually 18.7% skill damage because once I change this piece, I'll lose 10% skill damage and I'll lose 8% skill damage. So remember those numbers were 80 something thousand damage. Let's, let's be sure about the numbers again. 85,000. Ooh, that was fast. I didn't even read it fast enough. Let's hit this guy. I hit him at 100,000. Why did he hit the other guy differently? 106,000. Okay. Okay. The reason it did that is because uh, this talent that's on here, 25% activated once the skill killed another uh, another dude or something like that. So let's go with Acosta Go Bag. Okay. Let's see what we're hitting right now. We're eating at 81,000. Okay. I'll toss a grenade. And then we're going to see Acosta Backpack pretty much. So as you can see from the logo on the bottom, you get a battery that actually shows you that the Acosta uh, Backpack Silence is actually activated. I had to re-edit this and actually do this in post-production and talk about it because um, I couldn't see the battery for some strange reason. But once you see that battery logo show up, once you toss a grenade, you know that you're already in overcharged territory. In the case of the BTSU gloves, like I described, you can actually use it with your team and your team, your teammates, if they have skill tier six builds, they can attain overcharge and you gain more damage. So everybody gains like this huge 15 second buff. And it really does change the it changes the entire pace of the game. Everybody does that extra burst damage or extra sustained damage, or whatever it is that their skills are doing. And it's actually pretty cool. Now, I hope that was a uh, very basic understanding of what overcharge is. Overcharge is basically the seventh skill tier. Um, you cannot attain it just, f you know, for nothing. You have to actually have a cost. And the Acosta backpack and the BTSU gloves are the two exotics that do, exotic gear anyways, that trigger overcharge. All right, that's it for me. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, and I'll talk to you guys hopefully in another video. Peace out.